But they started getting us. We we only got did we even get to the main guy like once? But it was and everyone else that came yeah. out with them were gold bars. We got Damn. to it once and then we and got we were like, just fucked. beat up. <laughs> yeah, it was it was rough. Made us made me feel real fucking shitty about the game. I was like, ah, I don't wanna play anymore. Yeah, Ubisoft and Massive come out saying that they made like they they kind fucked up. Over Yeah, because they they're like the time to kill is now worse than it ever was before. Because it was much better from game one to game two. Yeah, and then like they made adjustments on two to make it better then too. Yeah. But now like for some reason they just when they upped everything up because it ramped up. Yeah, because the cap is forty. Yeah, our our damage and like that it just it like quadrupled them. So like red bars take multiple clips to yeah. drop. Ugh. I got can, a, I got a decent assault rifle, like a pretty good assault rifle. The right red bars come out. I'll unload in them and have to go into my next clip to to yeah. get them. And I'm like, that shouldn't be a thing for the red bars. If I got like, a clear no, shot when I'm hitting every single one. Yeah, and you can see the difference. We, we did a level four control point yesterday. Uh-huh. Just running around the world, you can drop one or two red bars with a single mag mm-hmm. without having to reload. We went in, and we're just the few red bars that are in con- level four are taking multiple. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh-huh. But then they're just like, that us. They're just like, was rough, just too. melt us. I'm like, are you, like, I have over a million fucking armor. And they're like, but it. And when it's gone, yeah. I'm like, are you, what, how is this possible? Like, what is happening? It's so terrible. I have like 700,000 armor, so I go. <laughs> <laughs> Breeze hits him and he's like, down. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm like, this is, it's so unbalanced Somebody right now. hit me with a flamethrower. And, like, didn't even, like, hold it on. Like, mm-hmm. he got it in passing on me. He Damn. warmed him up. I was like, what? <laughs> I was so mad. Yeah, I even tried to fuck around because I want the the skill things to be high. So I was like, I'm going to try to use a um, a marksman rifle for a while so I can hang back further. Uh-huh. And, be at, and I'm like, I can't do this either. I don't, <laughs> it just doesn't help. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Well, that sucks. Yeah, they're they're I mean, working it's still on fun. Fix, but it's just frustrating. Yeah, but when it starts to get too frustrating, is when you start to to drop off. Yeah, them. Yeah. It's Why at that were point you guys too. Playing the uh, the Federal Reserve bunker. What's up? Why were you playing the Reserve bunker? Um. So, spoiler alert for Endgame. Um. There's a new manhunt. Okay. So I'm just gonna ruin the story for you. Eh, let's not. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so when you when you get to end game, you find out there's more uh, advanced rogue agents. Okay. Basically. Okay. So no big deal. Yeah. Um. So you go on another manhunt. You get five of them mm-hmm. instead of being. You have to kill these four to get to the main one. They release them in, in intel in chunks. So the first uh, first one drops as soon as you get end game. Okay. You get that one. The next one is two weeks out. I believe is what it is. So. First week's done already. Second week is coming up. Um, basically, what they're doing is so the first season is twelve weeks. Twelve weeks long. Mm-hmm. By the end of the season, you sh- uh, they'll unlock all five of these agents, uh, and then you have to get the four to get to the fifth one. So just like you did with the main in the main one okay. uh, in the war- Warlords of New York. Um, so during this, you have to much similar to what you did in, in the in New York portion of it, you have to go do certain things. And so they're just missions. Uh, so each one will have a different area of DC they're covering. And so you have to go to that, that district and do the control points, um, one mission and a bounty. Okay. And the nice thing about it is you just, the minimum is normal. So you don't have to ramp it up the fucking difficulty. Right. You can, but... I would not recommend it until they fix this balancing issue because I started doing them on hard thinking I want better loot, right? Right. And I can do them on hard. Yeah. I did another mistake because now in the new end game is you can change the world difficulty. Right. Okay. So it ramps up the enemies to being the same difficulty as everything else. I was like, well, I, again, I want better loot. I can take down hard enemies. I'll put the world on hard. Right. Yeah. I couldn't get past normal people. It's too many of them, and they're too... Yeah, and yeah. they're just way too aggressive, uh, and they just they will just murder me, and I'm like, well, okay, go back to normal. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too, is like in some of these missions that we've done a bunch of times, and we kind of have it all down, like yeah. they come out of different areas now. 
like in in that area and like they'll rush up on you like way you know like every now and then one would rush up and try to get behind you Mm -hmm. now there's like a steady stream of them trying to get behind you it's it's like they're a lot smarter now but it's weird because you get so programmed like all right we know this wave's coming in from over here this one's coming in from over here and blah 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 but now there's like oh there's this door that was never used before now they're coming out of here and you have to like yeah so your your regular cover areas aren't good cover areas anymore at least not for the whole game Uh it's fucking the first time you're like oh god (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's cool because it's like a different thing you know what i mean yeah but it's also like that purple bar will just melt you and you're like oh Okay. Because he runs up on you and just is now a bullet sponge. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I'm like, oh, all right, we're back to game one. Awesome. Thanks, fellas. I wonder why that happened. I think it's when they they didn't, I don't think they tested it properly. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, even like hardcore players are like, yo, like min maxers are like, bruh, this is ridiculous. Um, And like, we just, like, people had to like throw only weapon damage and stuff on their builds so they're completely red across everything just so they could actually destroy things because they were just they'll sacrifice their life as long as you can keep kill them quickly then you don't have to worry about it but if you have to fight with them then they're gonna have the advantage because they can melt you quicker yeah so everyone's dumping like i literally saw like two guys in the uh settlement were red on all six things just everything like I was like, he had a he had a, a, a submachine gun that was a ninety nine damage. Yeah, I saw a dude who not only was right across the board with his main things, but you were looking at his stuff and all the uh, the perks to each gear were also weapon damage, weapon yeah. handling, weapon speed, critical like, hit damage, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, Jesus. oh god. Yeah, so I was reading the thing. Um, one of these guys that posts a lot of stuff, and he's like, yeah, this is the way to kind of get through challenging stuff. You get your you're paper thin, but you do enough damage to like it counterbalance. I'm like, no, that's not fun. It's not fun that's at all. like you take a couple of hits and you're like, yeah, oh, I gotta stay down. Yeah, you can't like they're just using their gear to to heal themselves. I'm like, yeah, because that on. can't be that effective yeah. because you're not putting talent or points or anything to it. Yeah, because yeah. like I was telling him last night, the plan with like how this new setup was, I was like, all right, I like using like the explosive stuff anyway. I'm gonna max out on the skill points because mm-hmm. as a group, I know you guys won't do that. Yeah. And then I have plenty of people to, you know, help me out when I inevitably get fucking shot to death. <laughs> and that worked great when we were running as as four. It was cool. I was blowing people up. Everyone else was doing good. I'd die. There's three of you to help me out. Mm-hmm. There's just two of us, though. I can't do that. Like, it does it. The, the benefit of it isn't there. So it's like, okay, now, now I have to set up a, a loadout for how I play with my, like, alone or with one or two people yeah <laughs> and then set up another loadout for how we play like as a group yeah it's 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 i don't know it's annoying at points but i kind of dig it because it's like a whole new like strategic thing i'm trying to like piece together and it's easier now to to figure out how you want your gear to go because there's less like crazy um mods and stuff like the mods are a little bit more straightforward and less gear has mod slots now yeah so it's it's a little bit easier to kind of figure out but it's i mean it's fun but it's just it's a whole different game basically now yeah it's, i it's still haven't even gotten into any of that i'm still yeah. running with the stuff that i had before yeah i haven't touched anything from the the new content the only thing the most important thing is when you get to end game, you make sure you have all your grenades for the boss battle. <laughs> Don't use any grenades the rest of the level. Fair enough. Yeah. It's the one thing he can't hack and fuck you with. Yeah. It'd be awful just fucking hacking. And we your kept grenades. telling Taj that, and he was like, okay. And he Can't went into them. the boss battle with no, no grenades. I was like, all right, Taz. <laughs> yeah, and then the. Besides the whole, you know, you can't use your fucking gear and he has unlimited. Um, he's a submachine gun the entire time, so it's not terrible, but yeah. he will fucking goo grenade you and then just unload and while your fucking you. stock is stuck in there. He, I mean, he's definitely beatable, but it's it's more of a, like, you have to kind of plan it out. And, and going through it twice now, it's like, okay, like, I think if we, I think if we went through it with Taj again... 
we'd probably get it one shot because we'd you know we'd gear up differently and we'd have make sure we have the right shit. Mm-hmm. And also the important part too is is whatever your was it your talent one is yeah to your make sure special, that's special, maxed out, out your specialty you know make sure your your specialty weapon is 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 maxed out because my specialty weapon I'm I'm doing the firewall one right now and I haven't even touched my my actual flamethrower yet uh-huh. in terms of power. Cause I was like, let's get the LMG, let's get the the assault rifle maxed out. I get the cool grenade, you know what I mean? I was doing all these, yeah. And then I realized I was like, okay, in the boss battle, really want that specialty weapon to be maxed out, right? Yeah, if I, I mean, mine was maxed out, but it's the the problem is you have all that shit around you. You still you're still exposed. Yeah. With most of those, you're exposed in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, or the newer ones like the the mini gun and the and the flamethrower, you 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 have to stand up for the most part. Yeah, and you're just exposed to all his fucking gadgets just laying into you. Um, I did notice when we had the most success is when we would kind of on both sides of him, you'd hit the flamethrower because there's that moment when he's on fire, and it lasts long enough where if you're in a good spot, you can unload a couple clips on him mm-hmm. before something one of his things takes somebody out. Or, or fucks you up long enough. So, and like I said, it's it's definitely gonna be easier the next time we do it. I mean, in theory, <laughs> probably yeah. probably won't work in real life. But yeah, the next time you'd be with me. So, hopefully, there'll be at least three of us. Yup. Because it wasn't uh, as aggravating with three of us as it was by yourself. Yeah. Because you're not the sole target of everything. Yeah, I don't know how Cody did it by himself. I would have, I would have just quit. Two hours. Till somebody. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> sounds like a lot of hiding behind stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude, it took me two hours. I mean, the 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 benefit, the one thing they did do that's good about it is, as you're doing the first part and you're just destroying a bunch of gear that's popping out, it drops specialty ammo and um, uh, armor kits. Mm-hmm. So during the battle, you can run real quick and get them. And then there's like a couple sections where they have armor kits. And one of them is set up in a fucking terrible because it's just open yeah. air. One of them is like, you're going to die if you get this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but one's behind a wall, so you can like a mini, like a half wall, so you can at least get a little bit of cover while you do it. Yeah. Um, but it's it's still like probably not the best thing to have them out in the open like that. And there's one armor kit one that's like right dead center. I'm like, no, no. Nope. I remember no. after we cleared it, I was running around getting stuff and I was like, oh. The specialty ammo right here, but it's like the worst fucking spot, and I couldn't believe it didn't blow up. I was like, "Well, you're never getting that in the game." Yeah. <laughs> like, but you know, whatever. All right, and I'm still on the hunt for newer exotics because I've only got the chameleon. I haven't seen any higher hair of the new ones, and I keep seeing these videos. Of how to get the exotics? I'm like, let me guess. Play an area that has that focus down it, and then keep running those missions. That's exactly what they say. Pretty much, yeah. If you want that assault, if you want that machine, that submachine gun, do whatever the area is, you know, targeted for that. I'm like, good video, guys. Thanks, guys, yeah, wow, good video. Yeah. Wow, great insight. Yep. Thanks for telling Just keep me how to grinding for that point zero five percent chance yeah. or whatever it is to get. Those it should exotics. be a, a rule, and I've talked about this before too. It's like if you run a mission, like say ten times in a row. Like somebody in your group should get that exotic. You know what I mean? Like there should be like a limit of how long you have to, like oh, how many times. No, absolutely. I don't know. And I'm not saying everybody. Run into a four man group. Somebody needs to get that exotic. I don't know in the first game how many times I ran the uh, the stadium level to get those fucking knee pads. Yeah. It would just yeah. finish the finish the level. Fuck, didn't get them. Okay, let's just go it again. again. No. I think I did it like ten times one time and still didn't get anything. It was just like, come on, guys, really? Really? Yeah, it's really pretty. It's pretty dumb. Level, oh, good. super good at that level. <laughs> yeah, I can do that whole level in like ten minutes or something like that. Like I so good, we got to that point where I was just like, no, you just hide over here at that towards yeah. the end. And uh, as they come out of the elevator, you just throw down your your flame turret and just watch them all burn. <laughs> yep. You're like, that's crazy because the stadium in that first game was like, I want to say the first like real mission. It's you the first did. mission, yeah. yeah. And, like, the first time I went to it, I was not, like, I didn't do any side missions or anything. I was like, I can't fucking beat this level. And then it got to the point where you could solo it in, like, literally 10 minutes yeah. on hard and have no issues yeah. with it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that they need to adjust in that game and all has to do with RNG. 
Like, I get it, RNG. That's the whole grind thing. But right. the thing that drives me insane is the game should know what you are using and give you stuff for it. There's a reason you're using those. You want to get, you want to use those to be better with them, right? Yeah. So why the fuck are you giving me mods for stuff I've never actually had equipped? Mm-hmm. Right. And pulse. Yeah, I've never used. The, I've never had the pulse equipped. I've never had the shield equipped. I've never had the hive equipped. It's the worst thing possible because yeah, you run around with the turret and like I've I've literally run around with the turret the whole entire game, but I have shit tons of mods even from just the base game for everything else. Yeah. yeah. But I hardly get anything for the turret. They want you to use everything else. <laughs> Fuck off. It's not my play style. <laughs> right. It's not my play style at all. If I want to play a, he- a hero shooter, I can play Siege. You know what I mean? Like, this is supposed to be my build, how I build it. But yet yeah, you don't give me the fucking materials to do it. Yeah. And like, why are you... Like, I it's don't a think simple in the thing. whole entire game, I've only gotten maybe one or two gold level items for my turret. But I had, like, a shit ton of gold level items for everything else. Yeah. It's so Which dumb. It's like the opposite. Understand. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, here's this stuff. Use this other. I don't want to fucking use a goddamn pulse. No. What the fuck good is a pulse gonna do? I get the idea. Of it, oh, but it's sweet. Just like, they're over there. Well, it's it's like it's they're over there, and okay, I do more damage to the guys that have been pulsed. Cool. I don't really care. Yeah. Or I could hit them on sticky bomb and blow their fucking face off their body. Yeah, it's more fun for me that way. I'm like, hey, friend over there, catch your buddy's face. Boom. Yeah. You know. This fucking guy. Goddamn sniper with that thing right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm getting pretty good. He got this bitch running. She's just running. Uh-huh. Like, she, she's, like, coming right after me. I was like, hey, Mike, I need a cartwheel in the air. I was like, <laughs> the best is when, you, right. when they do the odd animations. It makes me so happy because, like, literally they'll do, like, three cartwheels in the air, slam up against a <laughs> truck, and slide down. It's so great. You bounced a guy off a chain link fence yesterday. Nice. Yeah. I didn't know this game had that graphics, like, that, that kind of physics in it, but uh-huh. I uh, exploded him. Into a chain link fence, the fence went back and he <laughs> rammed them forward. Yeah. I was like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> Best game ever!" And I was yeah. like, "Okay, that's the shit that keeps me going on the yes. game." I was like, "Yeah." I got a, another guy. There is uh, this was a while back. It was it was like the longest ladder ever in the game. He's going up to the top of the roof because they were mm. running around and then coming back down. It's and as he got to the top, I hit him, and he just. Fell all the way down, <laughs> and he just splat like, and he like did a l- weird little bounce. I was like, "That's right." It was like yep. a three story building. <laughs> oh. just came down. I was like, "This is the best game ever." <laughs> the bolt didn't kill him. The fall did. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, pretty entertaining. I like the the they added the variety of of bad guys into it. Even some of the the newer, well. Not a huge fan of some of the cleaner stuff because those are awful. Yeah, fucking tar cannon bullshit. Um, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Because it covers such a wide area that like you could like combat roll out of the area and it'll still get you. Yeah. Like a little speck will get in your boot and all of a sudden you're covered. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck is this? The blob? What is happening right now? We did we did a level four control point last night and there's. There's the area we have to do, oh, and then Jesus. we finally got past that, and we got to the defending point. It's that one with, like, the fountain in the middle. Black Tusk came up behind us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we were fighting off the control point and the Black Tusk, Fuck going back that. and forth. Uh, I died twice. He died once. I was like, God damn it, stay alive. I'm almost there. <laughs> Fuck, I hate when that would happen in the base game. Yeah, And then that's the one where the um, if you talk to the guy... Mm-hmm. The game freezes. The game freezes. It's still not thick and it's, they fixed. still didn't fix it somehow. So Cody's all like, "Wait, don't open anything." Because <laughs> I didn't even think about. it. I was like, "Oh, you know, it's got to be fixed by now, right?" Right. So I talked to him, and I knew it was going to do it too because the NPCs coming out started to do this like flickering thing. I was yeah. like, "Fuck!" And my game froze. I was like, "I'm going to lose all the f- level four control point stuff like last time." So I was like, "Don't open a goddamn thing." Wait for me to reload. So I reloaded because he's still in my game. So I go right. back in. I was open. I was like, but I still got garbage out of it. I was like, he's but got the level four port garbage. But yeah, and it's like they lowered it down. Like you don't get five things. We got three things. Oh, I think we got three because one of them was a targeted thing, so it was a bonus item thrown in there. But still, and I was like, we just did a level four control point. You should still and get we the got, max number. Yeah, I'm plus like, we got mad that it took us so long. I think. I think they penalized <laughs> us. <Yeah. laughs> Like, so like no guys, you didn't get it in time. <laughs> Fuck you. 
By the time we finished, it was a level two control point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would suck. You're just watching it drop as you're playing. It's getting easier, but I don't like this. Yeah. It still bothers me because you get purple shit still. Like, I'm, I still have some purple stuff equipped that I haven't found a better gold item for yet. Wow. Which is fucking annoying because. I mean, it's good gear, obviously, if it's yeah. better than the gold stuff I'm finding, but I don't want to see any goddamn purple in my screen when I open it up. Right. I mean, it, it's what keeps you playing. Yeah. But still. Yeah, but it's like, it's super annoying because... But to your point, is you're still super annoying that you are already endgame, you're level 40. Yeah, I'm balls deep in endgame, and they're like... And you're still getting purple, 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 purple. I'm like, yeah. just, just drop all gold. It's not that fucking difficult, guys. Yeah. Like just hey level forty still, turn off still half the gold shit that you're gonna drop isn't gonna be good anyway yeah. so no. yeah. why it's I'm still R and Jesusness myself through fucking gold stuff yeah I don't even look at purple stuff anymore I literally just instant delete no matter what it is I'm like mm-hmm. it could technically be better but I'm not gonna fucking wear it because it's not gonna have that third fucking extra thing on it so it's not gonna be as good possibly as something else I'm like I'm not gonna waste the fucking space yeah I'm like I'm not gonna pull stuff off of it I'm just gonna be like no delete just give me money. <laughs> Money I use so often. Yeah, right. All that money I use. I mean, you don't, you don't have to buy anything. I've been anymore. buying stuff for the perks, so I, when I recalibrate, I can yeah. <laughs> get it. That's not a bad idea. That's all you end up doing is just buying shit for to strip it down for one of the one of the perks on it. Did they change any of the uh, the way the perks work as far as? Uh, Moving them over to new things. Can you do them more than just one? You uh, can only do. I think you can only do one. You still, only you do still one. can only do one. Yeah, but you yeah. can max it out though, so you can keep recalibrating that one to keep getting stacked get better. Okay. So if but you get one that's you like have seven. to have, like, so if it's like a gear piece, like, because I've been keeping like a low. I've been using what I because I'm still kind of early into the end game, so I've been using what I want and then getting rid of the other stuff. Mm-hmm. But then I like after. I was running last night. I was like, I'm going to recalibrate some stuff. And then I didn't have enough things to match up the, um, the area that I needed. I was like, okay, I got to keep some more shit because I can't remember if they did this before. I don't know if I just had a huge stash. Cause I, I think I had a stash box filled up, but it was like, if it's a, a weapon thing or an armor thing, I, I swear before it was, you get that first one, that second one, that third one. And you could, switch it with whatever the the second or third one was before right but now it has to match up it has to be a, a weapon or an armor i think it was like that to begin with. oh was it yeah i yeah. think i just didn't i had a bunch of stuff yeah now I you don't have, have your, a bunch you have your main attribute and yeah. then you have your sub attributes yeah and you can only switch those out whereas you can't like take a thing and put weapon damage weapon damage weapon damage oh, okay it's yeah. always weapon damage okay see then, i like, couldn't I, I must not realize that before because i had so much shit when yeah. I finally started calibrating, and this time I went into calibrate, and they're like, "You don't have anything to fit in the hair." I was like, "Oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah." It's the I mean, I had that same issue when because going from the first game, the first game, if I recall right, allowed you to pretty much whatever move to whatever thing you could take out uh, uh, armor stuff and put in something else there. Yeah. If you wanted to make things better, but you could still only then just mod that one slot, that one thing which you mod it. So yeah. when we moved over to game two or the 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 sequel i was like why why can i only do weapon to weapon and and whatnot it was like confusing me yeah because i i thought i could do because i have one uh it's a purple item but it has like a really high armor on the the first uh perk for it not the main one but the first one and i was like oh i'm just gonna switch this out because i have a armor slot on this one but it's not the first slot that's an armor slot and it Uh wouldn't let me i was like okay let you do it and you're like that's cool, I guess. Your dicks. Your dicks. Your dicks. Um, yeah, you know. It's cool and all. Um, but yeah, my only problem is the fact that um I don't like how terrible the time to kill is. No. Like I should be burning through motherfuckers. Until I go to like heroic, and then I should be. There's a big paint. gap from normal to hard. Yeah, like it feels like they should have a medium in there to kind of ramp you up. Because you even felt that way yesterday after we got done doing the control point. Well, that sounds like the 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 base game of the original game too had that weird like when you went from hard to challenging. 
or something like that. Yeah. It had that like super ramp up that was just like impossible. hard was yeah. hard eventually was possible, but then challenging was like no. Yeah. And yeah. I think if if we ran four after in game and everything like that, I I think we could do all the hard stuff. But it's like but we shouldn't have to be able to do just yeah. the hard stuff with four people. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It should be I Not should be able to do hard has stuff. Everybody four friends. Yeah. I should be able to do hard stuff like I was before. Look at me. <laughs> you have four friends. Well, he just I, leaned over and stared at me. I think mainly because he couldn't look Fucking at himself. Nerd. He's like, I can't. There's no mirrors in here. I can't just stare at myself. <laughs> and you sort of have four friends, Mike. Yeah, sure. You know, does my wife count as yes. a friend? No. Well, I was That's talking about video game friends. Yes. Um. Well, it's funny. The other night when we were playing, the, I was the gonna say something mean. But yeah. I was like, <laughs> to the who? one episode that she listens to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the other day when all of us were playing, Tim texted me. He's like, "Hey, do I have to have the expansion to play with you guys?" I'm like, "Yeah, we're playing the expansion stuff." He was like, "Nah, shit." And then he went to play something else. I was like, "What a dick!" You could just get it. Yeah, you just get it. We'll help you burn through it. You know. I've yet to hear uh, my friend Matt from work bought uh, or is playing the base game because I think it's it's available on Game Pass, but he hasn't texted me yet. Uh, oh, is it back on Game Pass? Yeah, I believe it is. Uh, he hasn't texted me yet uh, they, when he when he's playing or whatnot. It just sucks because you can't go back and play with him. I can't? No. Once you start the uh, Warlords of New York, you have to go through it before you can go back to yeah, D.C. you can't go back to D.C. yet. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I could probably hop into his game, right? No, no, not no. You can't. You will not be able to load anything outside of DC or out of New York right now. That's dumb. Yeah, it's one of the things. Are like, hey, like we don't. We the systems that you have in this right now, they won't mesh yet, so you can't go back. And I don't even know, technically speaking, if I get to end game, if someone can join me. Because the other day, well. Taj didn't understand this when we were explaining to him because the other day when we jumped on, Mike and I were already on, so we're in my game. We were already back in D.C., mm-hmm. or, and he was still in New York, and he's like, I can't join you guys. I'm like, I know because you're in New York. He's like, yeah, but I can't join you. I'm like, okay, let me explain this slower. You can't join me because you are not in game. You're still playing the base game, essentially. He's like, yeah, but I can't join your group. <laughs> Let's then, we're finished. Well, I, Taj, I'm I get, on my way. But I get the confusion. Like to me, it's still confusing. It would be totally confusing. Yeah. Why I can't just literally just hop into somebody else's game? Yeah, it's really weird. Like, you're lo- you're literally locking me to New York um, until I finish it and get Endgame. But that doesn't make sense because I have, I have, you have all. I have DC. Washington. I have <laughs> all DC. Like why can't I just hop into DC? I can understand maybe not being able to hop into. Uh, to l- like Matt's game because he doesn't have Warlord or even Tim Tim's game because he doesn't have Warlords of New York. You you have all new systems and stuff like that, and the uh, content that I would collect from there doesn't necessarily transfer over to it. But when you're in game and you're in DC, I can't just like join your game. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. You want another another dumb one? Sure, I love dumb. So. So love dumb. Remember how uh, they increased the the gear score to five fifteen? Uh, yeah, yeah. So that goes away. What do you mean that goes away? So you once you one, once you go to level thirty one, your your gear score is gone. There's another thing you upgrade. Yeah, but. and so now, like, and the reason I bring that up is I was like, oh, I have enough stuff. I'm gonna upgrade my uh my high noon holster, or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Because the perk's not the greatest, but not you know, anymore, no. yeah, I'm thinking, but it's an exotic. It's gonna have a ton of fucking armor on it, right? No, it's not. It's level thirty five fifteen. It won't go up. It won't upgrade. Even though my bench can upgrade to forty, that will only stay at five fifteen at level thirty. Yeah, but I've been confused about the the bench thing too. Because I I try to, I was like, well, I want to upgrade some of these exotics that I do have, like the rifle and stuff. Yeah. And I'm I'm very confused on how I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, because like, I just go in there. I'm like, because uh. I can. I'm pretty sure I can take an existing gun and make a level forty out of it. But like for some reason, even though I have the upgrade blueprint for it, it's the upgrade blueprint to go to thirty. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. I, I remember reading about the exotics and basically that if you want the level 40 stuff, you have to do, you have to get them again. So yeah. you might as well just break down oh, okay. that exotic that yeah. you have, at least get some components. I got the out exotic of it. parts and I was like, oh, but I can't break you down. You have to go and back and read because yeah, i got like five yeah. i don't know i was just saving them i was thinking i can upgrade them at some yeah. point so can i somehow get the high the high noon holster you have to do mission again of, so from the, the way i understand it and at least from i didn't read about the high noon holster i, I read about the chatterbox i think it is oh, I, i'm sorry i got one yesterday well but i mean <laughs> they were saying that uh if you dismantle the chatterbox then you can find the components again so you can't have one in your inventory yes you do, you have to so dismantle, dismantle what you have, shit. and then you can go and do, redo all of the stuff. Because the chatter box was the one where you find the components inside the boxes, yeah, yeah. inside the hyena boxes. Yeah. yeah. So one guy online that I read on on Reddit was like, "Yeah, I was I had to break down the one I had, and then when I broke that down, I found a, a component for it in one of the boxes." Well, I found one, so I don't have to do that. But yeah. or you can just wait for you know, Cody to to get uh, the exotic that you want. I got two. Yeah. I guess <laughs> make sure you're playing though. when Cody's the playing. The fucker just gets them. I got two chameleons the other night when I was playing with Tosh. I still have like almost back to back. Never, I don't think I've ever gotten an exotic, uh, just from gotten. a drop. No, maybe one. I think one, but it was one that I don't even use. My shotgun. You might. Like my yeah. shotgun. Yeah. The sweet dreams. I think that's the only one I got from a drop. Everything else I built. Or the a, other exotic, where it's like it. we're just gonna give you this exotic, the from the, uh, uh, which of the first uh, season expansions was that? Gave you an exotic, but it, was, but it was the rifle, the snake on it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the when you go to the, the diamondback, the diamondback, yeah. yeah. Which I still got so those drops. Just yeah, I really like the merciless as a rifle. That one was fun, but I could never. Even when I was playing before the expansion, I couldn't get the um, the full five hundred one. Or yeah, the one I gave you, or the one you had, was like a four ninety seven or yeah. some nonsense, right? Yeah. But it was cool though. That was the one where it would um, shoot on release of the trigger too. It has yes. a double. Yeah, I remember. yeah. That was great. Plus, it had the it perk weird. where it added the potential to have uh, incendiary rounds on your yeah. right, on your main gun. Yeah. I was like, this is pretty dope because all of a sudden, like, oh, I'm on fire, ha <laughs> ha, bitch! It, fought, it, it it fired smooth too, and it was really steady. Yeah. I liked it, and it's very fast because I think yeah. it's because of that double trigger pull thing. But yeah, I don't know, man. It was. Uh... I'm I know just that... looking forward to to the point where like we can just play the main game and get like get some better shit, so it's fun again. Yeah, and not so like infuriating. <laughs> hopefully they will. Uh... I know they had a state of the game today talking about. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm hopefully they're gonna talk about an update patch to fix all the broken shit they have because uh, it's. Uh... You don't notice it until endgame because all you get for during the, the new expansion stuff, all you get is story mode. Yeah. So it's pretty normal. It's like normal essentially. And that's fine. Like you can run around normal and it feels like the normal game. Red bars take no time. Purple bars are yeah. pretty easy. Gold bars are still kind of a pain, but not that bad. You can get them down. You can get their armor down pretty quickly. But like as soon as you go into hard, you're just like, what the fuck? Like. <laughs> What is happening? Am I shooting play doh at these dudes? Like, what is happening? <laughs> like, did they swap me out for non lethal rounds all of a sudden? I'm shooting beanbags and shit or whatever. Oh, I think that was like an hard. airsoft gun. I'm like, beep, 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 beep. They replaced all the, all the guns with uh, replica airsoft guns. Yeah. I'm like, cool. Where's my airsoft grenade? Whatever. Um, anyways, that's it for the division talk. Um, not that there's any much news going on because everything's fucking shut down or canceled or delayed or This is true, but nonsense. at least we got some good stuff uh, out of this where we have uh, movies that would normally still be in theaters yeah. or or uh, in that weird time in between theaters and digital. Uh, we're getting those released now. Yeah. That time should just go away, by the way. There's no point for that time anymore. That in-between yeah, time. Yeah, in-between time. That's an old school mentality. That it shit is. needs to just disappear. Things need to run in theaters, and then just and then go then digital. Be available on digital. That's my feelings on it. Now I know that we talked about this uh, when because it's Fandango now was the first indication that we that we saw where uh, 
we were getting movies. That so the way. ones that first announced it, yeah. But iTunes actually also has all it the as streaming well. services. All, okay, so yeah. all the streaming services have it as well. Fandango's jumped the fucking gun and said, "Hey guys, guess what? On this date, these movies will be available." And they're like, "The world's like, what the fuck?" Which was awesome. Yeah, because, but then the stipulation is making me mad a little bit. Well, so the stipulations are twenty dollars, twenty dollars, forty-eight hour rental, which is fine. No special features, which is fine. Mm. Special features aren't ready yet. Usually, a lot of times, special features are finished after, Sometimes, during yeah. the. Uh, you will, yeah. Yeah. Getting ready for the digital slash ready physical for the digital release. slash physical release of things. Yep. As much as I would say for a single person, yes, twenty dollars yeah. is a bit expensive. For a yeah. family, though, oh yeah, it's yeah, no. well worth it. Yeah, if we if we were to like if we were to collectively the three of us, because um, I don't include Just Tosh, in a third of we the said. Cash. By hey, the way, this conversation we had the other day almost made me want to delete the fucking podcast crew and and Taj thing from my phone which one just, we said a lot of shit yeah you gotta narrow it down <laughs> well, like when one. he was when he was bitching so hard about the 20 dollars being stupid yeah and i was like it's cheaper than going to the movies yeah because he was like, like i don't eat uh, or snacks or drink or concessions at the movies i'm like yeah, but do yeah. you leave your your baby mama at home too he goes leave that sounds controlling fuck you taj no, he is just an inviter yeah like he's it's just, just it's like yes you were the other one in this fucking group that has a a person that lives with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that you normally would go to movies with. Yes. And if we're talking twelve bucks a pop on a fucking Cine One, boom. It's that's already it. cheaper. Yep. Yeah. Even if you don't eat concessions, dude. Yeah. That's all I was trying to convey. And he was just like, yeah, he got like really up at it. He was like, that's too fucking much. Also, it's whenever like, he goes to movies with us, he never pays me back. So he hasn't paid for many of the movies he's seen. Well, that's probably why he's upset. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to wait for you to rent everything so he can come over and watch it. Well, because I was going to say is like, I like I really want to watch The Hunt. Yeah. Because it seems fucked up. And everyone's like, this movie is super jazz. That's the, the like the dark comedy one. that I Yeah. Think it's I like basically about. like yeah. it's kind of like the Hunger Games, but like or like surviving the game essentially. Yeah. yeah. Like, right. But it's like super fucked up. Like it got it was so it's so politically charged that they like when like the whole shit was going down the first time they're like hey we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and low-key not release this right now yeah and then like when you know stuff gets a little better we're gonna release it so they're like oh yeah we're gonna release it in march it's gonna be great like it's the the, the election's going on so it's kind of timely all this stuff right cool what happens beer apocalypse happens they're like fuck we can't have anyone go to see this movie literally like everything's shutting down the the week the, like the tuesday wednesday before the movie comes out mm. and i'm like well, I'm not going to see that in theaters. And they're like, they announce it. I'm like, yes, I'll just buy it for $20. No, it's a rental for 48 hours. Yeah, I was some, like, some of the studios are just doing the rentals. Some of them are just letting you buy them. It's, it's weird. Yeah, some of them are deciding. like, if they already hit theaters, they're like, hey, we'll just give you early digital release and you can buy them. So you can buy Onward. You can buy The Way Back. It's still $20, though? It's, a lot of them are $20. Still, okay, yeah. that's more worth it because I actually own it and I can yeah. watch it any time. And yeah. they'll eventually, if they don't have special features, they'll have them eventually, you know, yeah. whatever. But it's like, I. Like I want to buy the Invisible Man that comes out, but I don't want to spend another twenty dollars on it to watch it for forty eight hours. Well, absolutely. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather just wait till it comes out and I'll spend, I'll buy it that way or whatever. But like the Hunt, I was like super excited for. And I was like, I'm gonna get this. It's gonna be awesome. Then I was like, well, now I'm more. I'm like gonna be like, hey guys, do you want to rent it and then we'll just watch it at like Joe's house or something? Yeah. Because like. I don't but that's wanna... how most people are probably going about this. Yeah, and yeah, I understand. And I, that, I appreciate but... the fact that they even did anything. Oh, I think literally. it's awesome. I just yeah. wish it was more of like, hey, we know you can't go out to theaters right now because, like, you know, There's people no are theaters. deadly and theaters are closed except for like random, like fucking independent, like the Roadhouse Art one. House ones and stuff, like, yeah. Those are still open apparently. Okay, like it was weird. I was what it, whatever. Um, so I was like, I was like, cool. But it's like it's still a rental, and it seems like it's twenty dollars. I'm like, I get it. You're missing your box office, but if you were to make it, I don't know, ten dollars, right, to rent it, like even at the most, probably twelve dollars to rent it. Because technically, that's what you're kind of doing anyway when you yeah. go into the theaters. Like you're I don't get to renting, keep it. Right? You're renting a seat, yeah, for the length of the movie, yeah, um, and it's only ten to twelve dollars. I mean, depending on where you go. Yeah, New York's like forty seven dollars. But yeah. I would I would say this though, if Say movie theaters went away as a thing, like forever. Of course. Yep. I wouldn't be mad at twenty dollars rentals from here on out. You know what I mean? For yeah, because there's a cheaper option. That yeah, you're saying I can literally go to a theater and get something cheaper. Yeah, and there's an expense 
tied to it because I do have to drive there unless I'm close enough to walk to place. If I have a single other, it's obviously you're, double you're, the ticket you're price. You're in a unique situation though, where you're a single dude with no kids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you only cost ten to twelve dollars to watch a movie in a movie Thanks, theater. Buddy. I usually cost at least twenty dollars. Yes, just for the price of ticket. Just alone. for the price of ticket. Then you got to take into account the people with like kids who would have to get a babysitter. You know what I mean? Like it goes on like the expense. You hear that? that people oh, yeah, with yeah. kids, yeah, get a babysitter. Don't get kid. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't get kids. Don't I was gonna them. say don't bring them to the theater, but don't yeah, have don't, them also. Yeah, I guess, but just don't have them. Yeah. This is, this is how we got in trouble in the first place. Too many goddamn people. Yep. Right? <laughs> goddamn um, hours. But no, but I'm but what I'm saying though is like say from here on out, like it's it's a weird world thing, but if like just large gatherings aren't a thing anymore ever and movie theaters disappear, like the next Marvel movie drops on whatever day and it's for the first two months, it's only available for a two day rental for for twenty dollars, and then you could buy it after that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I wouldn't be mad. Now it's weird. You know what I mean. Now it's especially when some are just letting you buy it for, yeah. for twenty. But yeah, it, it's this weird adjustment period where like these studios don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah, and they're like, uh, rent it. <laughs> yeah. Like, how but, is this gonna work? Yeah. Let's test it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of movies are gonna get fucked. Apparently, the way back, uh, that new Ben Affleck movie is like really really good that's what i'm saying yeah but got super fucked by this because yeah. now it's like well, nobody's gonna see it you know what i mean i'm thinking a quiet place too as well like yeah obviously dropped right when, right when all theaters closed and it's well like, but that was just the early release like it still has a release date plan later well, on down the road no, well they they're, postponed they're, but yeah but they're they're still hoping that eventually <laughs> The world will go back to normal. But, you but can watch a movie. But you're right. Like coming out of this, like no one knows in because I look at it in the sense of like, okay, Apple said they're closing because they're one of the first stores to to officially announce we're just literally closing everything. Yeah. For two weeks, it's like okay, what happens when two weeks passes? Enough. Yeah. You know, are you just gonna and and this morning they announced that they're gonna slowly reopen stores. Not necessarily the ones that are in higher uh, concentration areas for the the coronavirus and whatnot. Yeah. So probably not New York, California, uh, Pennsylvania. Oddly enough, I think was one of them as well that yeah. had a high concentration. Uh, the Amish. But you're right. So like, what happens uh, when this just kind of continues to slowly go on in a lot of these large places that you would uh, get a lot of people, you know, don't all don't open up, you know. In every place. Hmm. It's weird. But we've been talking about for years, like, we wish there was an option when a movie came out in theaters, if we could just, like, have it for 50 bucks for a home home release kind of thing. Yeah. No, well, but, like, as a group. As a group, Like, we yes. could be like, all right, it's just going to be us four or five. We'll, you know, all come to my place or I'll go, you know what I mean? And yeah. just watch the movie that we would have gone to the theater for. Yeah weird this is very bizarre you know what else is weird is watching wrestling with no crowds that I shit don't know is if I jarring do that. i wanted to do it uh but it's unsettling mainly because they still light the seating and i'm like mm, if you darkened it seating maybe it would feel better but it is it not, is dark yeah, but it's like, it's but not, it's like yeah, it's, you can it's still see weird. though it, it and every company the... is doing slightly different things and it's like uh man everything's weird Especially wrestling, because I've been, uh, like I said, I haven't really watched wrestling. I, I want to see what it, what it's like, but uh, I can probably say it's much like how the late shows are doing their stuff. Yeah. Uh, if they're not doing it from if home. If they're not doing it from home, because uh, I know last week tonight, uh, the last episode that uh, John Oliver did, he actually had to do it in another studio, because apparently NBC Studio, or is that where he films it from? Universal. Universal Studio. Uh, was completely shut down to the coronavirus. Uh, so he was doing it at, at another studio, and he would say a joke, and it's just like, ha-ha. He doesn't have I'm an laughing, audience, yeah. Like, but there's no audience there, and so it's like, 
Was this really that funny? Well, I thing, don't know. I don't know if I should be laughing. I don't know right how to now. react. I don't that's, know how to react. That's like if um, you see those videos of like the Big Bang Theory when they take out the laugh track. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, unsettling. Oh, what's and, going on? Uh, yeah, wrestling's daily. weird. You see, uh, like a high spot, like you know, a big finisher or something like that. And it's the the saving grace is the announcers. The announcers are yeah, they're doing a really good job being more fans than announcers right now. Okay. So they explode when like something, you know, you could tell they they either made the conscious decision or someone gave them directed be mo more emotional, be more animated. Cause like Corey Corey Graves is doing a fantastic job of of what are you doing? Don't worry he's about it. I'm listening anyway, to you. Wait, so Corey he's yeah. doing a great job. Yeah, of, he's doing a great job of of his oh shit. Open that's that what just you're for you, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Close that up. <laughs> Um, of he gets big and loud and animated when something big happens. It kind of it it cues that right. emotion a little bit more. But yeah, there is like like a couple weeks ago, there's this fantastic match between um, Daniel Bryan and Tony Cesaro. It's one of my favorite matches I've seen in a long you time. Tony Cesaro. Oh, I did, huh? Yeah. Cesaro. He lost Antonio years ago. Was, and then he lost Tony recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you losing matches and losing these names? No, it? WWE no. will just take names away from yeah. people sometimes. They're like, hey, it's you a, know you're popular? Thing, you don't get a name no more. Yeah, you lose half a name or you get a new first. It's very weird. Um, Soon it's going to be, his big E is going to be big. Yeah. Or maybe just E. e. Like, some people refer to him as E, and you're like, oh, shit. There did, it goes. did he lose it's the big already? Um, yeah, let's go ahead. But the, the thing about that one, though, is like, one, you hear the wrestlers so much more. Because they they can't mic the crowds because yes. there's no crowds to mic, and the ring's already slightly mic'd anyway for the uh, the the, 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 the like the the points of impact and stuff yeah. like that. They're mic'd. They're not you know overpowered or anything like that. But now just that little bit of miking of the of the ring is so noticeable without the just even in the, the quiet moments of the, crowd, of the ma- yeah. yeah matches just the buzzing of the crowd. Not even counting when they're like they blow up and they get excited for something. It's it's very weird, man. But I will say, they've done. I've watched a couple, a, a few WWE throughout because they're basically doing every show from the Performance Center with just the announcers and just the wrestlers. AEW just did their first show from because the owner of AEW owns the his dad owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh-huh. So they got shit all over Jacksonville. So there's some area in Jacksonville where they're like, well, this is where we're doing our show now. Okay. Um, and they did it without a crowd. And they've done a very good job of, of one, they're doing pre-tape stuff backstage. So you can have a different environment. Um, they're having different interactions. Like they're bringing different people on commentating just to like change things up. Uh, it's been good, but it's just, I mean, I've been watching wrestling my whole life and I've, I've watched one match my entire life that didn't have anybody in the crowd. And it was a weird, uh, gimmick thing that they did in like 98 between the rock and mankind uh-huh. during, um, Super Bowl. the Super Bowl. They had an empty arena match and that's the only time I've ever seen it before. And I was like, this is fucking crazy. But now it's just happening every night, <laughs> multiple times a night. So how are the wrestlers themselves? Because a large part of wrestling is reacting to the crowd, is is playing to the crowd, coming yeah. out to your music and just getting yeah, up that's on the, the ropes thing, and like just the, being like, yeah. The the, uh, the you, entrances are do? the weirdest thing because you could tell the wrestlers will go out and they'll kind of do their thing and then they just walk to the right. ring. Yeah. <laughs> like there's nothing else There's nothing going to point on. to. So yeah, they do their pop. Are you? Or and like whatever just, their pose is, you know, yeah. like their traditional kind of, or even gig, halfway but, through the match as they're like trying to amp up the crowd, just like you know, to just, get into a big move that they're matches. about to do. Or you just <laughs> Col- Col- Cabana had a great one on. Are they on, still like? Do they get in the ring and talk trash to each other? Before yeah, you some matches, it. and you're just yeah. like, you just hear them talking. It, it's weird because it it feels there's no mic spots anymore. They're just like talking out. It loud. It feels like, more Ooh. like a fight, oddly okay. enough, now yeah. than than like a wrestling match. Like and. You, I don't know. It's it's got to be hard for the wrestlers because they always talk about playing to the crowd and yes. and that's how you tell. But now it's like okay, you have to change everything and you have to make this solely enjoyable for the crowd at home. And you don't get any instant feedback. It's very yeah. bizarre. But I mean, 
the good wrestlers are doing a good job on it. Like some of the wrestlers that aren't as experienced, you could tell their matches just aren't as good right now. Right. Because, I mean, why should they be? <laughs> but like the really good wrestlers, like the Daniel Bryans of the world, he's probably wrestled 100 matches in front of 10 to 15 people, mm-hmm. you know, coming up. So he's it's been a while, but I'm sure he's a little bit more used to it than somebody that came up through like NXT Performance Center and only started wrestling in this environment. Uh, like like the the street profits uh, had a match the other night or last or Monday Monday, and it was just weird. Like there was just moments where like they kind of stopped at certain points, <laughs> and they're like, uh, we'll, "We'll do this," <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Because they did like a big move, and that's usually the point where like they rest and like the crowd kind of gets into it. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's just they kind of just everyone in the ring just kind of stopped for, and it wasn't a long time, but even weird, like even a second of just everyone stopping for for uh, one second. And it's like, what the Feels fuck weird. is going Feels on? Weird, yeah. yeah, especially without the crowd like slowly building up because that's usually what happens in those moments. Um, but they've been doing some cool stuff. Like the promos have been great. Like I was telling him, Seth Rollins cut a promo. It was Seth. Ro- it was Kevin Owens was in the ring. Seth Rollins came out. He walked down, walked around the ring a couple times, like really used up all the environment while he was talking. Mm-hmm. And you can't do that. You couldn't cut that the promo that he did with a crowd because he would have had to address the crowd or or counter the crowd or pause for the crowd to react. You know what I mean? Yeah. But but this felt more like a movie monologue. Okay. And it was so good. Like it was one of the best promos I've seen in years. Like like and I like I said, I've been watching wrestling my whole life. There's not a lot of promos where I'm like, oh, that one is really, really good. You know what I mean? That yeah. one I was like, ooh shit, that one's really good. Cause it made me go, I fucking hate this guy. And I started getting <laughs> mad. And then I was like, Oh yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Like if you're really good, that's the feelings you yeah. get from people. So yeah, it's it's weird because some things are suffering, some of the moments in the match are suffering, but the guys who are really good, it's really showing how good they are because they're like they're taking the ball and running with it a little bit. And they're like, well, we can, we just increase the physicality of the match. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Make, make the moves hit harder, make everything feel more real, more intense, less choreographed. Um, and then the guys who get at the promos, they have no interruption. So now they can give different cadences. You're hearing different types of promos. You're hearing, you're not hearing like bad guys coming out and yelling, you know, you're not getting those old school Hulk Hogan, what you're gonna and just being loud yeah. and everything like that because like there's no reason to be loud right now because you're literally just talking to somebody yeah so it's it's interesting it's very weird it's interesting though with all that being said i can't wait till the crowd comes back i, I can't imagine <laughs> i can't even imagine i'm trying to imagine now and i can't imagine like what that crowd would be like too. so i don't even know if like mania if they're gonna let family in or something apparently like that. they're not now yeah yeah because like that was the rumors before that like friends and family of the wrestlers are still gonna come in and so you have some type of crowd environment uh-huh. but i guess that kibosh too i guess there's literally gonna be no one in the crowd for Yeesh. mania when is mania it'll be next saturday and sunday okay so it's yeah. closer okay what's weird too is like they're now so takeover is gonna be was gonna be that Saturday, yeah. Uh-huh. And Mania now was on Sunday. Being moved to, they're spreading this, it out over the next couple this episodes of NXT, right? Starting no, s- just regular NXT. So on Wednesdays, yeah. But it's something about the first, right? They're doing something that'd be Wednesday, right? Or next Wednesday? Yeah, I think that'd be next Wednesday. About yeah, maybe it's next. And then like I don't know. It's weird. They're announcing it tonight, so we'll know more. But yeah, it's really strange. Yeah, so like they're so all the matches that it. they had planned for the NXT takeover. They're just gonna stretch out on the next couple episodes of NXT since there's no no big Saturday event anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very weird, man. Definitely sounds like it. That's yeah, pretty uh pretty strange thing. You know, the world is uh, ever changing in this weird time we're in right now. Um, we were. Um, I had to take some stuff over to, it doesn't matter. I was talking to somebody and me and Jen were there and they looked at us as my nephew, Mike, who used to live with us. Okay. He was like, have you guys ever like been through anything like this before? And we looked at him and we're like, 
we're six years older than you, dude. <laughs> like, what do you think happened when we were one to six that would have been like this? And he's like, uh, that's a good point. I'm like, how fucking old do you think we are, man? I got mad, but. Well, you have a family and whatnot. I mean, technically we have, not not to this extent, honestly, but. Uh, uh, I actually can't think of anything that was called a pandemic. We've never had anything. But, well, like the. I- the uh, the downturn of the economy towards yeah. the, end of the Bush era. I mean, that's yeah. kind of what you you're ha- you're happening right now. As well. Yeah, I re- like you know, because we were talking about that. Like, yeah, the economy took a shit and like things closed, but there was always something. You know what I mean? Like, it was it was no not- gatherings got canceled. Yeah, they didn't you know? like. You know what I mean? There was people didn't have money to do things, so like you know, smaller businesses shuttered because of it. Yes. But this is like they're being forced to close because they can't allow people in. Yeah, yeah. And so like the night, the the crazy thing is like with like comic shops, right? So when they announced that, like obviously like large gatherings, of people needs to be limited to blah blah blah. A lot of comic shops were like, hey, what we'll do is we'll let limited amount of people in. We'll have option for curbside pickup. We'll have option for delivery, Everybody's- things like that. Cool. Then. Come fucking Monday, Diamond Diamond's like, hey, um, we don't want to do this, but um, we have a lot of partners that are printers that are outside the country that can no longer ship stuff in because apparently the beer virus can stick on plastics and cardboard and other paper materials. So we can't get shipments sent in from Canada, which is one of the biggest uh, import- or printers. Uh, nothing from Mexico. And a lot of the places here can't do it because they can't have people in their facility to print because you can't – machines don't do it all. You mean, have to have people moving right. stuff from one place to the other. And especially in certain areas, it's not considered an essential yeah. thing. So it's not – yeah. So it's shutting down. So like literally today as of recording, Wednesday the 25th of March, is the last new comic book day for the foreseeable future because A – Lots of comic book shops are mom and pop places and they may not be able to survive not having revenue come in because a lot of their business is drawing people in for new books, not old books. So they can only sell through what they have because they're not getting anything new. Yeah. And when I first read it, I was like, oh, so we'll have a couple weeks because the in the thing that the the CEO said anything any all orders that have already been paid for will be shipped out because they have that product. Then he put a date in and said the first, and I was like, "Well, and but that's oh. that's right because a lot of these aren't printed so far in advance. Yeah, yeah. they're written and and ready to they, go in advance. advance. They're just not, printed, but they're not printed. So. They're printed really close to release date, and yeah. you're like, oh shit, like, uh oh." You know what I mean? Yeah. And the one of the cool things that the comic industry is doing to help is they're promoting going to a comic sh- shop, but they're not going to be releasing books digitally. Which is pretty good on them because yeah. they're saying that the only way that you can get this is... Yeah, and because they know a lot of their, their source income is still from printed books. Yep. And so they're not... A, they can't get printed books out. So they're like, well, we're not going to fuck these comic book store owners who have devoted their life to this industry just so we can still make money, we won't release them digitally. Um, and then I, I saw a couple things where a bunch of um, companies like DC, Marvel, and Image, if they have newer books that have a down the pipeline, they have a pretty pretty standard release of, hey, these are the rest of the books, and then the trade comes out, they're going to just shit on the rest of those issues and they're just going to push through the printing of the trades when they can. Oh, really? So they'll shutter some of the ones that don't aren't like a continuing series. Uh-huh. Like ones like, oh, this is only supposed to last six, eight, ten issues, and then it's going to be in a trade, and that's it. They may just go straight cancel those and go right to a trade. Weird. So maybe one or two issues out right now, and they're just going to be like, well, we don't, we can't, the we can't print run, those ones. Yeah, runs are just probably going to. Here's the a graphic rest novel. The run, and yep. here's the. Here's the yeah. graphic novel. And they haven't officially announced that yet, but there were there was talks about that. I was like, well, that's interesting because, like, things like Curse of Black of the of the White Knight, the last issue of that comes out today. Mm-hmm. Thank Christ, you know what I mean. Um, but it's like something like that they could have easily just gone graphic novel. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, and they, I mean, they both 
DC and Marvel don't have a lot of those. So it was mostly just image and IEW and things like that and boom and dark horse. But it's like, also you have those bi-monthly stories that now they don't have a release. You know I mean? You might be in the middle of a story arc. You're like, Oh fuck. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's weird. It's very strange. Um, at least they're trying, they're thinking about, um, the comic shops cause they know the, the world they live in. It's just going to be weird because comic shops, though, aren't necessarily large margin stores. Not at all. They're no. not going to make a whole. They don't make a whole lot of money anyway. Yeah, especially on the new books. Uh, especially on the new books, uh, it'd be weird to see how long this goes and see if any of them, how much reopen. Yeah. Um, that's the crazy thing too. Is like, there's not a whole lot of chains of comic book shops, not and those anymore. ones. A lot of those shut down, like just closed, not bef- way before the pandemic. Just like they shut down because they, just could, you, it's not a model you can no. really do a lot of. You know what I mean? Um, because you have to have that back catalog of shit. You know what I mean? And it's harder to have a lot of that at different places. Yeah, like Atomic, for example. Like they were fucking massive, so big they were in fucking uh, kick ass. Yeah, like not just the comic book, but also the movie. Yeah. Like that, he went to Atomic Comics to buy his comics. And it's like, oh, that's fucking crazy. And now they don't, they only exist in like two cities. Yeah. And like, so you have small places like All About Books and Comics. Well, they are shutting down completely. But a month ago, they stopped carrying new books. Yeah. And they're just trying to burn through their back stock, which they have a fucking ton of. I mean, that's they had two crazy. shops versus for it. Um, but they're, I mean, they're closing completely. And that was before the pandemic, like, officially went through. But what it's was like, the reason for them closing? Just, they just don't have the do business. Most, yeah. They have most chains because they're hit in, in areas that are hit hard or actually on lockdown. A lot of chains just said, we're just shutting all the way down. So there's no liability for them in any other states if shit starts getting even weirder. Very bizarre. Even though like Arizona hasn't had a full on lockdown yet, a lot of like you'll see the chain places before even uh, Doug Ducey said anything about like limiting restaurants and stuff like that. Like, chain restaurants was only doing curbside or only doing delivery. Yeah, Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings. But. Yeah. Like, I know, um, like, uh, Chili's was doing it. Um, Applebee's, like, the chain chain restaurants. That Starbucks. All over. Was Starbucks did it. To yeah. Pick up only. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird because I saw uh, my friend went in to one and she said, uh, she she went in to do a pickup order because you can still do it from the app. Yep. And all the tables and chairs were gone. Yep. Yeah. And there was a little stanchion thing where you can come in and there's a sign on the door that says like get your one, shit and get out. Like one customer at a time, grab yeah. grab and go. And I was like, Oh, that's so weird to see. Like, especially the one out here in Surprise, I didn't see it, but I'm like, there's can you imagine what that there. looks like? Just this big empty fucking thing. And I was like, Oh, it's so strange. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Um the in and out by my work has obviously shut their dining room down. Mm-hmm. But their drive through is pretty. I mean, just like in and out, their drive through is pretty drive-thru ridiculous is all the time. Always ridiculous. So now they snake it through their their parking lot. Mm-hmm. So like you know, like our like the one out here in Surprise, the parking lot's a little bit narrow. But like the back half where you have like the two aisles. Yeah. So this the one of mine. No one's parking. Yeah. So they can use the whole thing. Yeah. So they they have the two two of the the inlets blocked off, and it says as signs go to the drive through, and so you have to drive in the front one, and you can snake through to the drive through itself, and they have like. Like yesterday, I was even worked. They had like five or six people out with their little machines taking uh-huh. orders because the line is so fucking long all the time. And I'm like, God damn. And like that went, I went and got pizza for the team uh, at work the uh, yesterday or day before, whatever it was. And so I just, we have NYPD pizza on the other side of the building. So I just went over there and got it. And when you like you walk in, all their ta- all their chairs are up on the table tables, and like you can just walk up to the pickup area, and they have none of the. You know, because NYPD does like the buy a slice thing yeah. and they have like that, not a buffet thing, but like, you know, that counter yeah. that's completely empty. Makes sense. And I was like, yeah, I can't at least pick, get a piece of pizza and sit down. You know what I mean? Like, right. You have to go. And I was like, this is crazy. Pet start, Pet Smart's doing curbside pickup. I was like, really? Yeah, well, I like, guess, I mean, for, yeah, I guess it makes just sense. I just <laughs> need food. Yeah. yeah. I'll There's take still a puppy. <laughs> yeah. A bag of food. The cutest, the cutest one you got. Yeah. Can you bring out? Like, can you just bring them out to the car and I can look at them and you can bring them back in? Yeah. Or how does this work? Uh, and they don't know their personality. Just bring yeah. them all out. I'll see which one I like the best. You, yeah. you okay with snakes? I'll take a snake. I'll take a snake, too. Might as well. I'll just open First the sunroof just, just like, jump ah! one in. Comes out Pee Wee Herman style. Yeah, snakes just all over them. 
Um, yeah, so, you know. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. There's nothing else going on. Other than we could go over the m- multitude, multitude of delays. Of delays and just fucking, hey, remember this movie is going to come out like in a week? It's now in hey, August. remember that movie we had? Tickets to go see the first one and the second one, too? Yeah. That one yeah. hurt. That, that one, hurt. that one's, rough. I mean, you couldn't have pushed it's, it back. You couldn't have pushed the fucking pandemic shutdown back, like, the next week so I could at least see these fucking movies. I was texting you guys and joking that my, my car instantly thought I was going to Planet Fitness yesterday when I got in, yeah. and I was like, hmm. Oh. Right, can't, can't go there. Nope. You can. You can go sit in the parking lot. They don't I mean, stop I could you. Sit in the parking lot. Just get a workout in front in the front door. Get a couple push ups and some burpees going. Just bring your own weights and work out in at the <laughs> front door. It's like I'm being here still. I like I like uh, you know the routine it keeps me going. Yeah. What um, what was I watching on YouTube? Someone was like, someone's like, oh um, oh that's what it was. Apparently, like, there's, like, these big gyms in, like, large areas. They're doing, like, YouTube workout videos. Like, they'll yeah. do live, see if you can follow along with them. Like, at, like basically jazzercise back in the day. Yeah. And, like, one of them was, like, Muay Thai. And I was, like, mm, how? How? It's motions. Do I have yeah, to, like, attack the camera? Like, no, what's going on? Do I have to get a, a rag yeah, doll to fucking, you know? But they were just doing like the the exercises. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. You probably shouldn't have said Muay Thai because that makes me confused. Taibo. Yeah, it's Taibo is what you're doing. On, on that, Billy Blanks is like, I was ahead of my time. The YouTube channel that I watch for a lot of the uh, the workout stuff, the Buff Dudes yeah. guys, they did. Uh, they're doing uh, oh, at home, home type yeah. uh, type stuff. Uh, I haven't watched any of them yet, but uh, the the thumbnail of one of them was still like, man, I still can't do that. Cause uh, it, it, he's doing like a lay down back back rows, and uh, when they do them in the in the actual workout environment, they they do it on a bench, and then they put a bunch of weights underneath the feet of the bench so that you can get up drop higher. Drop your arms all the way down. Drop your arms. Oh, all gotcha. Down. Yeah, yeah. I was and, like, why? And then uh, it was, so in the in the thumbnail, uh, he's on top of two coolers doing it, and I'm like, I don't have two coolers. Come on, guys, go to fries. <laughs> you may don't, have to go to two different ones. Don't go to fries. Don't, don't go, go to fries. fries. Yeah. Everybody, don't, don't go, go to fries, fries, you fucks. So don't go to fries in a little bit when I need groceries? Nope. You're fucked. <laughs> it's actually not that bad right now. No, I don't think it is. Last not, couple days. People, people chilled out quite yeah. a bit. It, it's the worst right at opening. I'd yeah, imagine. You yeah, still have the fucking idiots, but. Like 200 fucking seniors in line the other day when we did our first senior hour. Literally 200 and something seniors in line waiting to get in. And, and an it, hour to shop. Well, I mean, they could take longer. Well, yeah, but an hour, hour before the rest now. of the yeah. people come in. Yeah, um, yeah, that was. So you the, you the also unfortunately work at a store close to an area with a shit ton of old people. Ton of, yeah. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Every fries. Well, yeah, I'm even, sure, but has that senior time. Yeah, then just like my store does. We had long lines when we opened on Sunday. Oh, we had a ton of people waiting outside. They were really confused yeah. what curbside pickup meant. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? I have to do, huh? Now I have to I literally order. Heard because uh, the the precinct uh, at my store is close to the uh, the entrance doors. I literally heard somebody go, "You mean I can't just come in?" <laughs> no, man. Yeah, bro. It's like, have you been anywhere lately? You can't just go in anywhere. It is funny to see how like people are disconnected from like what's going on. Yeah. It's like, do you not like? news and social media and just the internet in general like you have no clue what the fuck's going on yeah like i had someone the other day was like what's happening right now why is the store so empty why is it so busy i was like it's been like two weeks lady like what do you right? what Where, do you, you mean are you jared leto you jared leto in disguise <laughs> grabbed her yeah, face you starting a cult on some island now so that's All something right. he's doing anyhow um you know this place fucked up bro Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's all I got. All right. Mike's ready to go. get sunglasses on. Yeah. Mike's Jeez. probably ready to go home. His mic's unplugged. I'm not a man to go buy something from a comic book shop while I still can. <laughs> True. <laughs> all oh, right. speaking of which, uh, comes naturally, we are. Joe. Mike. I'm Cody. That's it for this week's episode. What do you, you just came naturally. Wash your hands. Whatever. Wash your hands. Go Stay six feet away from people or, yeah. at all times. Six, Drool just, on strangers. This. Yeah. Just yeah. You fuckers just came down. That's what it is. Stiff arm people. Yeah, out of my way.
Just hold yardsticks out and just fucking poke people yardsticks. Where's your yardstick? We need six feet, you My arms are already yardsticks.